Oh, man, this is going to be a sort of hard one, man. Welcome back to the show. So, as you guys know, in the Agogi this month, we're talking all about family, family culture, family leadership, uh, education for children, um, how the how jacked up the public school system is, um, how you can fix your relationship. So, I'm going to tell you a quick story about how when I went through a divorce um, with my the mother of my older daughters, what a, a little trick that I learned, a little exercise that was like a punch in the gut um but if you guys remember we talked about the 12 uh 12 characteristics of a true leader a few videos back a few episodes back um i I challenge you to go to go watch that one if you're just catching this one Um, because we want to talk about humility we want to talk about communication and this is and this is where the story kind of came into play a a mentor of mine has been on the podcast i've done many videos with him Kirk wise hell I've hired him to come you know do at you know do classes with my team and here at here at Johnny Slicks and the Agogi um he did this thing well actually he didn't his wife did this thing they said you know we do hard things and you guys know that I'm no stranger talking about doing the hard work doing things the hard way um sacrifice He's like, we do things the hard way. So what they did was they got a whiteboard out. And his wife, Rebecca, said, I want you guys to write down every single thing that we've done or said or that's happened in this family that's hurt you. That's hurt your heart, hurt your soul. And Kirk was like, oh, geez, we're doing this? We're going to put this, we're going to write this down? And they've got like 18 kids, something like that. Um, So this probably took a while. It's probably a whole day exercise. So anyways, they went through it. And, um, so I wanted to do the hard thing exercise as well. Like, you know, things were a little difficult is right after the divorce, everybody had split houses. And now we're doing the 50, 50 thing. And my kids were young and, um, I don't remember this, maybe six, six, maybe seven and seven and 11, something like that. So young, it's a, that's, it's a young to deal with that. And both girls and uh, then you're always torn, you know, it was, who do I, who do I support, my mom or dad, or how do I, you know what I mean, how do I split the two, I've always known, everything I've known is one thing, so it's just a shitty situation, even if it's amplical, even if it's in the best of, you know, the best of reasons, it doesn't really matter, it's a shitty thing to go through, no matter what. So I said, you know what, I'm going to do this exercise, so we got a whiteboard, I went in their bedroom, and I said, hey girls, we're going to do an exercise, we're going to do this thing. And I want you guys to write down every single thing that that has happened in your life that might have, you know, that revolves around us, your mom or me, and uh, specifically me. We're focusing on dad. What are the things that's hurt you? What's hurt your heart? What's hurt your feelings? What's hurt your soul? And they just, we went to town back and forth back and forth, back and forth, and we're writing them on the board, and the next thing you know, we're filled up the board because we started too big, and now we're writing in the margins, we're writing on the side, around the corners, and I'm just like, oh, man, this is every single time that they brought something up. There's stuff that I didn't even know. Like, I made a joke about eating a certain food or made a joke about doing something or, you know, any little thing, and, you know, why you think it's a joke, it cut them to their core. So I'm opening, I'm open, I'm honest, I'm vulnerable, and I'm letting it do I'm letting them go through that. And then we wrote it all down and we we put it on their desk in their in their bedroom for a long time. And and when we got done with the exercise, I bet we basically says, listen, we've done we've we started here, and all of these hard things on this board have happened. And we're still sitting here in this room together. We're still a family. We still love each other. We still support the, just su- support each other, which means we can do hard things because these aren't the last hard things that's going to hit this family. We're, there's going to be more hard times. There's going to be more hard things. And if we did those hard things, we can do the next hard things. So we put the board up. I don't know how many weeks, months went later. I remember my oldest came to me and said, Dad, 
think we're good with this board. I think we can erase it. I'm like, thank God. Jeez, let's get rid of this. Let's burn the board. But my challenge to you is that is, is are you having those hard conversations? Are you being open? Are you being honest? Are you being vulnerable? Are you, do you have the ability to communicate and, and have humility to receive feedback? Even if it's not the feedback that you want. Maybe it's the feedback you need to become a better father. To create a family culture of doing hard things. To create a family culture of unity. And being on the same page and having the same vision. It's not easy to do that. But it is so very, very rewarding. So, when you're ready, get a whiteboard out. Get some markers. Sit around and have that conversation. Now, it might not end that version, that time, might not end the way that you want it to, and that's okay. But getting it out there, letting them speak, letting them share their, their, their feelings, let them share the things that they're holding on to that's created weight around their neck, letting them put it on that board, getting out and expressing how much you love, how much you care, and how you can do hard things how you can get better and how they can get better and you guys are in this thing together and if that's something that moves you if that's something that's like you know what i need that in my life i need more of that in my life i need more accountability in my life i want you to go into the link below and i want you to book a conversation with us about joining the agogi and the mentorship where we talk in depth about this because this is what matters never quit never surrender always forward we'll see you in there Oh,